the true abundance mindset of you can have the pick of the crop. You can have the world's most attractive women. I mean, one of my main chicks has 200,000 Instagram followers and I took her virginity when she was 17. This is disgusting. Disgusting. We have children. This is disgusting. Thank you. Andrew Tate is under attack by some serious allegations by the prosecutors of Romania claiming that the Tate brothers do shakalaka bom bom with someone underage and are trafficking underage people. Now I thought I'd start this video strong. The first video clip we've seen of uh, Tristan Tate admitting to shakalaka bom bom with someone 17, taking the flower away from her when he was in his 30s. Even though it is absolutely disgusting, but it is totally legal because in the UK it's 16. And even if he did it here in Romania, the legal age of Shakalaka Bom Bom is 16 plus in Romania as well. But even though the age of consent is 16 years old and these 16, 17 year old Shakalaka Bom Bom's activities that Tristan Tate was having was legal, you know what is illegal? Doing these things on camera and posting them online. Now, it is no secret Andrew Tate has been very open about his uh, past webcam business where he used to make a couple of change, a couple of millions of dollars from the girls that he used to pimp. Me behind the screen. So the chicks would sit there and hit a keyboard that wasn't plugged in. And me and my brother, and eventually some staff I trained, would do all the talking. The girls were just pure, just famosers, just laughing and doing this, their titties out. And they were talking ice cold hustlers. We were taking their money, all of it. We were fucking milking them dry. Women haven't got a clue how to famoose a dude. They don't have, because they rely on their looks. They don't have any of the intellect. They have no gain, nothing. <laughs> they're they're, they're, they're soft. nothing. They're soft. Nah, you get, you get a man, you get a man with game and give him a female's body, a female avatar, we he will f a guy up. I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. And just two days ago, the Tate brothers made their shishas, made their cigars, they made their coffees ready to go on a very controversial topic in their podcast sessions on rumble that is when the security cameras capture a couple of ninjas jumping over the wall no police are here <laughs> there's police pulling up at my house right now the literally is police here can you can we go live on a phone is that possible no but they are here i can't confirm okay right well you film shut this down Scream. police are here police are here what are the police doing here Now they were taken into custody and the prosecutors have asked the judge to remain the Tate brothers in custody for 30 days while they continued their new investigation involving 35 alleged victims, including a woman who was 15 at the time. In a statement, the Romania's agency have said that uh, six people have been detained in total, both Romanians and foreigners, foreigners referring to the Tate brothers. And obviously all these things are alleged. There's no evidence yet. They're trying to investigate to see what actually comes out of it. And this is what Tate had to say about this whole thing, that this is all a setup. Ask them for evidence. The first file, no evidence. It was all a lie. Ask them this time where the evidence is. This is the most crazy. They have no evidence, no proof. They've just made up a bunch of shit. They're lying and they're desperate. This file is more pathetic than the first one. Christ is king. And in a statement, Andrew Tate said that this is a setup. It is absolutely disgusting. 30 of those girls said we have done nothing wrong. Two of them are mother of our children. Two have never even been here in Romania, he said. And BBC asked them multiple times about the allegations with the Shaklaka Bomom with the 15 year old uh, and trafficking these uh, people. But according to this article, Andrew Tate, he walked away and refused to reply. Now, just because he hasn't answered this specific question doesn't mean he's guilty. He's been asked where's the evidence in all of this. And he's saying that these are all lies. I believe this is an answer to any question on any of the allegations that he's been uh, accused of. But one thing that did not age well that I found this was Tristan's old tweet from November 2020. Remember guys, 30 is the first year you can legally F a woman half your age. Don't feel old, life gets better with age. Now in 2020, when Tristan Tate posted that the age of consent was at 15 in Romania, but only in 2023, Romania decided to raise it to 16 years old after a lot of complaints. But even though it is illegal, it is unacceptable in my point of view. So what, if the age of consent was 13 years old, you would go also second like a bomb at 13 years old as well, just because it's legal? 15 year olds are still children. And as most of you are aware, the Tate brothers have been arrested also last year, year and a half when they were they've been uh, detained and they've been living in a jail for the past three months the allegations are totally different the cases are different uh, the one before was about grape and it was about trafficking as well this one is about trafficking 
underage and Chakalakabomo with underage people. That is still an ongoing trial, but with this one, they've been detained for 24 hours and the prosecutors have asked the judge to keep them for 30 days instead of 24 hours so they can find evidence for this. And with this one, the judge said that we would not keep them in jail, but they'll be under house arrest for the next 30 days until we can see if the prosecutors the next 30 days, if they can bring proof and evidence of these things actually taking place. These two very big, huge allegations. They're also being accused of grooming vulnerable people people who were then housed in different locations and forced to produce um, haram videos and material for online broadcast. One of the foreign men, meaning one of the Tate brothers, is accused of forcing a 17-year-old foreign citizen to perform shakalaka boom boom acts in front of the camera in order to make online video content. It is said that he kept all the $1.5 million of the whole profit that the 17-year-old made from that um, video. The same man, which is one of the Tate brothers, is being accused of repeatedly having like a boom boom relations with a girl who was 15 years old when they met and what was the tate brothers response to all this whole thing pathetic desperate it's all made up in total it is alleged that the accused made 2.8 million dollars of putting these underage people in front of the camera doing haram stuff and this is one of the videos that surfaced the internet just in the past two days saying in june of 2024 this person was asked this is the person who had who was working for Tate at the time and they had the Shakalaka Boom Boom relations. In June of 2024, she was 26 years old and this is being, they're saying that this was in 2012, which at the time she was 14 years the old. The camera, show one up for you. Show the camera your tattoo. Obviously this is alleged, we don't know exactly the timeline. No one's giving any evidence of exactly when this was. This was, this could have been like two years ago. I'm not taking any sides. I'm being very neutral about the situation, but I won't be surprised if they actually did it. After Tristan Tate coming saying, oh, I took the flower of a 17 year old when I was in my 30s and she had 200K Instagram followers. I won't be surprised. Obviously these things are all alleged. He might've done it, might've not done it. We don't know, there's no evidence and we have to wait until evidence comes up if they can, if the prosecutors can find one. Everything that's been happening in the past two years is alleged. There's no evidence of them doing anything but at the same time it is a possibility it is not that the fact that matrix is trying to the matrix has attacked me i feel like they use the matrix a lot that they're trying to get me and silence me and unalive me but that it's been two years if they wanted to unalive you they would have unalived you so if anything happens this is the perfect way to brainwash people and say oh the matrix are after me these are all made up things it can be true, it cannot be true. Yes, he had a webcam business. Tristan said that he had relations with a 17 year old. Is it possible that they brought someone under 18 illegally to film these videos? It's quite possible. Is it possible that they had shakalaka boom boom with uh, someone under age while they were in the webcam business? It is possible. So time will tell in this situation. They might find something, might not find something. They might let them go. They might not even let them go if they don't even have any evidence. But they've been released uh, just 24 hours ago. And this is what they have to say the second they were released. But they were placed under house arrest. If you mention the name Romania, anywhere in the world they'll say, Andrew Tate lives there, Andrew Tate lives there. Oh, I've done nothing but promote this country. I've done nothing but say fantastic things about Romania endlessly. And when I did this, people would say to me, if Romania is so nice, if it's so safe, it's so beautiful, why has it got such a bad reputation? And I said, well, there's probably a few bad actors, a few bad people who destroyed the entire reputation. Like the few fools at DCOP who just came along and told us that the mothers of our children are somehow human traffic. I've been nice. I've been patient. I've played the game. I've respected the judiciary. I've gone to every appointment on time. But they bust in my house again. And now I've come along saying there's 35 victims. You know all 30 of those girls, 30 of them, have statements in our defense. 30 saying we've done absolutely nothing wrong. Two, uh, two more are the mothers of our children. And two more have never even been to Romania. They've never even been here. They just found random girls we knew in other countries and made them sign pieces of paper. This is a setup. It's absolutely disgusting. Fair play to that judge who saw through the bullshit and let us free. Oh, and also, one more thing, the media is complicit. All of you are. When they first threw us in fucking jail, when they first put us in there, you're all running around saying human trafficker. None of you said, where's the evidence? Where's the proof? Where's the pictures? Where's the videos? None. Three years later, they do the same fucking bullshit. And you're all sitting there going, human trafficking. I'm not a human trafficker, clearly. If you human traffic someone, there is evidence. This is a setup, it's a stitch up. The three prosecutors at DCOP in my house, I said, why are you here? There's no case. They said, there's a case if we make one. 
This is a fucking setup. All of it is. And, and listen, quiet, quiet. I'm not talking to you, sir. Quiet. The problem with media is the more intense it sounds, the more clicks it is going to get. That's what they care about. And yes, 100% Andrew was right. There needs to be evidence before you are labeled, titled as something in a new statement title any of the things that he's going to be labeled as there 100 needs to be an evidence we just have to see in this 30 days if the prosecutors can come up with anything last year they couldn't and it is still an ongoing investigation but they spent three months i believe or it was six months in jail they disappeared from the internet because they were living in jail while there was no evidence in the first place this time the judge was fair and he didn't let them stay in jail until more investigations are thorough because they can spend time in jail waste their life why because they're being accused of something with absolutely no evidence let's see what happens in the next coming uh, few weeks i'll keep you updated if anything serious happens if it doesn't that means nothing happened but anyways just thought i'll share this uh, story with you let me know your thoughts in the comments below like it if you enjoyed this yapping session subscribe if you're new here take it for yourself i will see you at the next